What's up guys, this is Rizzo here. And today I want to talk about a shooting that happened near my school. It was like a random shooting at our school. Like, at our school, stuff like this rarely happens, but it's not like really a good neighborhood. So, we were just sitting at class and then all we all we hear is um like pop pop and after that some kid in my class was like oh that was a gunshot and like nobody believed him because this it didn't even sound loud enough to be firecrackers it sounded like a cap gun or something it really didn't sound like a gunshot or at least firecrackers as i already said oh man i can't guard this kid it's too fast for me oh yeah and before I get in depth of the story, I want to say something. This is actually my gameplay, it's just another account. Like, as you guys know, like I started trick shotting in like August-ish. Well, I started playing Call of Duty in August. So this is the account I used to have before. Since nobody believed the kid, we just got back to our work. Like nobody cared. We were just doing normal stuff, going, doing our work, listening to teacher and stuff. So. Like five minutes later, all you hear is this is a hard lockdown. This is not a drill. This is a hard lockdown. So then everybody's like, oh shit, those really were gunshots. And the teacher's like, oh, everybody get near the closet. She was like, do not get any type of sight that an intruder can see you guys. So everybody just like near the um closet. So tell you what I chose to do. I forgot what I said, but I said some stupid shit, and everybody was laughing. And like, even though I'm the one who said the joke, I should never got in trouble, cause I didn't laugh. So, what I thought was just to be a dumbass. And now, since I was being a dumbass, some other people want to be a dumbass. And mind you, these girls are just not listening to nobody. They're just in a closet talking about how their pussy stinks and stuff, just don't saying stupid shit. And so, some kid is like, some kid in my class, he's like, oh my gosh, shut up, you guys don't take anything seriously. And I just start like giggling, like I try not to laugh, but like I just start cracking up, cause it was hilarious. And he, and actually, he was the kid that mentioned that those were gunshots. So he was like kind of freaking out and stuff. And nobody really kind of cared, except for him and the teacher, and like, exception of a few other students. So time goes back, some people actually, like me, I actually started to take it serious, like I stopped laughing, cause like, after a while, like I realized it wasn't funny, I started being actually a man and shit, stopped joking around, Oh, I didn't know he was gonna throw that alley, I'm so sorry. Anyways, so like I started taking it serious, and time goes by, it was only about 10 minutes we were like in there. Time goes by, so we're like, we're like all in the closet. And after a while, they say that we can go back to our class, just, it was outside. Because I don't even know why it was in a hard lockdown, because it was not even in the building. It was outside of the building. So we shouldn't really have to worry too much, but they thought the guy could have came in the building. So they made it a hard lockdown. So when the day, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that that was the last period. So when the day ended, we went outside and like, people was hearing how, some man got shot in his car and stuff. So, everybody just wants to go look. Oh, he got crossed. Oh, four seconds. And one, baby. Yeah, so everybody go check it out. But we didn't really see anybody. We seen like a broken glass through the window. And one of the craziest parts was that the first floor of my school, they're out actually outside having recess while this was going on and they thought it was firecrackers actually that's because it didn't even sound like firecrackers to me i thought like they was doing some type of construction oh my gosh sorry I, I thought they were doing some type of construction outside so it really sounded like somebody was banging with a hammer or something so then after like they hear the pop pop and then somebody came outside to actually tell them to come inside and then we was wondering like what would happen if then like one of the bullets just flew toward the school and somebody got shot. Thank God that didn't happen, but 
So besides them being outside, my paranoid ass is thinking like, what if the guy is still out there? Like, like since he knows he's going to jail, he doesn't give a fuck and just starts shooting everywhere up. But I knew that was not gonna happen. So I went home. I actually didn't go straight home that day. I, don't know, I was, I felt like being a dumbass. Cause the smartest thing to do was to go straight home. But like, if you go ahead and shoot somebody, you're not gonna just stick around. Unless you're like a crackhead or something. So, I was just like, fuck it, he's probably not over here. And I just got blocked. So I was like, oh yeah. So I was just thinking like, he couldn't be out here. He's not that much of a dumbass. So, to this day, I don't know if they caught the guy. And I don't want to know. I really don't care. I was not involved in that. And... That's been it. What the fuck? What if he what if he just turns around and like randomly shoots or something? Quad collapse. That'd be funny if he markered this part. Oh, look, look, look. Hopefully he doesn't like come out. Thank you. 